Hey guys, what's up? This is Willis Zuhek with WAO Films. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be breaking down one of the uh, wedding highlights. This film was uh, one of the videos that was nominated uh, by uh, Wedding Sutra to the best film of the year. So, you know, that's that's great. Uh, they're gonna choose the winner this uh, December, uh, based on what I was told. And if you don't know who they are, what in Sutra is a bridal media brand that provides information and inspiration to many brides planning, you know, the perfect wedding. And uh, this is one of the most trusted platform for wedding ideas and inspirations, etc. So check it out and wish me luck. Hey, who knows? Maybe I end up being the winner. <laughs> I don't know. Like to, or I can't help falling in love with you. I love you, my daughter. So for those of you who don't know, I'm in the Indian wedding market. This is a huge market, guys, and I have been doing Indian weddings for, you know, for years. And I really love, you know, the cup shot. I really love uh, the colors, uh, you know, how colorful the weddings are. It's, it's a lot of like energy, a lot of dancing. So I really love, you know, all that kind of stuff. People sometimes get confused because uh, most of the people are familiar with a uh, you know traditional hindu weddings however uh, when it comes to the south asian market you are going to find a uh, sikh wedding pakistani weddings a uh, hindu weddings so it's a lot of you know a uh, different type of south asian weddings now in this case like i said before this was a sikh wedding uh different than a uh, traditional hindu weddings uh, typically you know when we are shooting a sikh wedding they always do the ceremony at the Gurdwara, which is, you know, as a temple, pretty much. So with that being said, I'm going to jump right into the other end and uh, I'm going to be explaining, give you guys as much details as I can throughout the video so you guys can enjoy everything. I'm going to be also giving you some tips, you know, that you can actually use uh, when you're editing your own videos. And so just so you know, I edit in Adobe Premiere. This is the software that I use for um, all the wedding editing and all that kind of stuff. You know, this might look like a lot of stuff going on over here, but you know, this is basically um, the timeline. Uh, and I'm gonna first, uh, you know, show you what the settings are, what is it that I'm, you know, doing for this uh, a specific project. So I'm gonna start off by coming to the uh sequence menu and i'm gonna go to sequence settings uh, and i'm gonna show you guys real quick what the settings are for this particular uh, sequence uh, this is a 4096 by 1740 uh, aspect ratio this is the timeline that i'm using uh, i do pretty much all the weddings in 4k um uh, and i also explore everything in 4k as well so this is a 4k timeline as you guys can see over here um 23.976 frame per second and uh, that's pretty much it i want to uh, clarify something for you real quick guys you know so you guys don't get confused uh, and you know with the settings one of the most common a uh, 4k a uh, you know frame size uh, it's gonna be 3840 by 2160 that's kind of like the most common uh, size when it comes to the actual uh, timeline. Now, the reason I'm using a 4096 is because at uh, the camera that I shoot with, uh, I shoot with the 1DS Mark II, and with that camera, I'm able to shoot, uh, you know, within this uh, frame size. Now, the reason I'm using, you know, 1740 aspiration is just because, you know, I don't want to have those black bars uh, to be shown in the videos. There's nothing wrong if you use the black bars, um, you know, that's okay. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that in this case, uh, those black bars are not going to be shown. So I'm uh, moving forward. Let me just walk you through everything that you guys are seeing here everything on top of the sequence that you guys can see over here uh, are going to be the main clips that i'm gonna be using during the editing on top of the clips i always going to have uh two 
uh, adjustment layers, one with the color correction and one with the gradient. I try to do everything when it comes to, you know, color correction and color grading directly to the adjustment layer. Now, down below, you will see uh, the timeline with uh, the music and sound effect. If you are, you know, using some uh, effects. This right here is the effect control where you are going to be able to actually, you know, edit or, you know, make adjustment to the clip directly. And um, everything else is pretty much, you know, a different, you know, panels that you might need throughout, you know, the editing. Okay, so let's take a look to this highlight. I'm not gonna play the entire highlights because uh, this is a eight minute uh, trailer. It's a little, you know, long. So I don't wanna play this whole uh, highlights at the beginning. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you guys can watch it. If you guys, you know, want to skip this part, just go and watch the, you know, the full highlights and then, you know, just come back for the editing. So first thing, I always start the video with a, a title, which is gonna be always the same, part three, what is film, which is the brand, you know, uh, uh, at the business. And uh, it's something, you know, just a few seconds and it fades to black and it leads to the next uh, clip. One word, wow. You know, I've gone to a lot of weddings and this is probably the best one I've ever been to. So thank you so much for making that happen. You know, and I wanted to just, I couldn't hold it in. I was sitting down and this wasn't planned. I just wanted to take a few moments to say, Hans, I'm so incredibly impressed and proud of you to see the beautiful woman that you've become. And it's just an honor to be your cousin. And Mandeep, I just met you last year. And the two of you are such an amazing special couple with so much love and compassion for other people. And even in just the short time that I've gotten to see you and see the two of you together, I can see how much of a joy and blessing you are to our families. And we're all very, very grateful to know you and have uh, spent this time together with you. So thank you very much. Okay, so, so what's going on here? So the first shot that you guys are seeing over here is gonna be a drone shot which uh, was done with a Phantom a 4 Pro B2. Um, a Usually, uh, you know, for every single wedding that I edit, I kind of like to start with a drone shot. Uh, it doesn't have to be like that. It's just something, you know, that I always do. Uh, I like to establish the scene where we are gonna be shooting at, uh, you know, by using a drone shot. And, you know, by doing this, I'm just establishing, you know, the scene. So I'm showing the venue uh, with this wide angle. I'm telling the audience that this venue, you know, is located, you know, by the beach that, uh, you know, depending on what venue you guys are shooting at, you you might want to show, you know, the venue uh, itself, but also you want to show, you know, what is it that is related to the venue. Then I jump to a close-up, uh, you know, still using the drone and just uh, coming from a wide shot and going to a, a close-up. And this drone is, you know, it's just a simple shot, you know, just a pushing shot and um, a face to black. Now this drone shot leads us to the next shot. Thank you so much for making that happen. You know, and I wanted to just, I couldn't hold it in. I was sitting down and this wasn't planned. I just wanted to take a... So here uh, I decided to jump, uh, you know, right to, to this shot. Um, I'm also, you know, want to show uh, like where the bride is. Um, she's getting ready, you know, at the venue, but at the same time, uh, you know, we wanted to show that 
relaxing and beautiful view uh, that the venue had. Um, so in this case, we towed the dress outside and, and we got this beautiful sequence that, uh, that it looks like this. So the first shot is gonna be this one over here, which uh, was shot, you know, on the monopod with a 50 millimeter. Um, now it goes to a close up with a was shot a, on a 70 to 200. Um, right after this shot, we go to this, a, you know, to this close up where the bride is actually walking into frame um, and getting, you know, closer to the dress. So, you know, so at this point, we are kind of, you know, creating the story and uh, there is, you know, something going on here with the dress and we are trying to tell that story. Um, and then she gets, you know, close to the dress and start, you know, playing a little bit with it. Um, Hans, I'm so incredibly impressed and proud of you to see the beautiful woman that you... This is a, a running shot with the running S um, Canon 1DS Mark II with a Canon 24mm become and it's just an honor to be this is the same shot the same running uh 24 millimeter just to highlight the whole uh, view your cousin and mandeep i just met you last year and the two of you are okay guys just to be on the same page um so we all understand what's going on here and so this wedding was a three days event and so they had a ceremony reception and they also had a different day where they did a, a um how's this called um they did the a haldi for the groom and for the bride and also they have the henna uh where you know the bride get uh, the henna done uh, you know the tattoos on the hands and the feet you know all that kind of stuff so they had those a uh, part of the events you know on separate date so this date uh, that we are seeing over here this is the last day this is the day at the reception um so i'm starting the video up with the reception day and so you know when it comes to you know ordering a an indian wedding you know or any type of wedding you want to play you know with the storytelling so in this case i decided to start off with the reception so you know when you're editing a wedding you you can start you know a, however you guys want um but i always try to you know to tell the story you know differently depending on the wedding so in this case uh, i decided to start you know with the with the reception uh, everything is about storytelling and this is exactly what's going on here we're trying to tell the story we're playing with the dress we're showing the bride you know uh, at a different uh, scenario this is something very really important guys uh, that i always i always try to do uh, when i'm shooting you know any type of project i always like to get different angles from any situation uh, if i'm shooting a shop uh, you know i want to make this shot to look really interesting so during the editing you need to have you know those different options you need to have different angles so you are more creative you can have more flexibility when you're editing so this shot would not be the same if i only get this angle without you know having this closer without having this other you know shot or without having you know this closer here showing you know how beautiful the bride is and you know without all those angles uh, this whole sequence right here would not be the same trust me uh, if you have different options, if you have, you know, like a wide shot, if you have clubs, if you have details, you know, all that kind of stuff, it really helps to tell the story. Uh, and something that, you know, the dress is really important, guys. Uh, if you can start your video showing part of the dress of the bride, you know, trust me, that's something really powerful because uh, any bride, you know, loves, you know, her dress. So, 
a few can you know show you know dress during the first clips of the video that would be really nice uh, and trust me you can get attention from all the brides that are searching around because uh, they can once they see you know the dress uh, trust me that's something really powerful and to catch you know other you know potential brides uh, that are coming your way so let's move on and um, something else that is going on here is the dialogue and um, as you guys can see here this is um the speech dialogue that i got from this uh, from this guy something that i kind of always do um when it comes to editing is i always like to start with dialogue uh whether it's gonna be you know a speech or if it is gonna be you know a sound dialogue from a uh, the bro capo uh, i'm always gonna go for that because uh you know uh, that is something that really complements the story 